Welcome back to Live Now from Fox. I'm Gina Francine. Before we get into the very latest of the Israel Hamas war, we do have some breaking news at this hour that we do want to share with you. On your screen, a live look out there in Moscow, Russia. We're being told by Russian authorities that they have detained 11 people. State media reporting that this morning after gunmen stormed a concert hall in Moscow in an attack that left at least 115 people dead. So that death toll has increased, unfortunately, since yesterday. Russia's investigative committee saying four of those detained were directly involved in the attack that left the sprawling shopping mall and music venue smoldering with a collapsed roof. And you can see how the photog is panning out, giving you a wider look at this hour now at 816 on the East Coast as several people in this area and across the world are in mourning with this attack. Uh, we're being told that it could have, in fact, been a terrorist attack. Uh, joining us now to further discuss and understand these events is Mr. Ken Gray. He's the senior lecturer in criminal justice and homeland security over at the University of New Haven. Mr. Ken, good morning to you. Thank you so much for being here. Good morning, Janae. Glad to be back with you. Absolutely. So many people could be unfamiliar with the tragedy that happened on yesterday. Take us back in time a few hours ago to what happened that leads us to today, please. Sure. So yesterday there was a, uh, a concert that was planned. Uh, a rock group was uh, going to play in a uh, venue outside of Moscow, uh, but in the, uh, the nearby uh, it was 20 kilometers away from downtown Moscow uh, in Crocus City. And during the beginning of this concert, before the band actually got out onto the stage, uh, gunfire broke out inside the, the concert area. Now, this concert area was a combination of a concert area and a shopping mall. And uh, the gunfire that broke out uh, started shooting people inside that were waiting for the concert to start. Uh, it uh, Film from inside, video from inside showed three, at least three shooters. Uh, it was estimated there was either three up to five shooters that were engaged in this activity, walking through the concert area, shooting at uh, attendees. Uh, uh, the, the death toll has now increased past 100 and over 100 people uh, injured, uh, uh, shot in this process. Uh, they also threw a petro bomb, uh, which caught the facility on fire. Uh, the uh, responders could not put the fire out initially because of the threat of the gunman, but uh, the, they were able to eventually put the fire out, but only after the part of the roof collapsed. Uh, the gunman initially got away, um, and so uh, the word out of Moscow now is that uh, a, a group of people have been uh, arrested for this incident, um, and uh, hopefully they have all the gunmen involved. As I say, the number was not clearer initially, at least three, maybe five. They're saying they have four of the shooters uh, uh, in, um, uh, under arrest. So uh, interesting, the group that claimed responsibility for it is ISIS-K, that's ISIS-Khorasan region. Uh, ISIS-Khorasan region is a group of uh, ISIS followers in Afghanistan. Mm -hmm. And uh, it may be that they targeted Moscow, um, they targeted the Russia due to the Russians' involvement in the Syrian war um, and that this was payback. Uh, ISIS had been establishing a caliphate uh, that included Syria uh, and Iraq and um, it plans to expand it further. And because the Russians interdicted inside the, the war against uh, Syria, um, ISIS was not able to establish that uh, caliphate. Consequently, uh, this may be payback for that, but that's only speculation on my part. At this hour, 11 people detained with your criminal justice background. Mr. Ken, kind of walk us through the next steps. Um, obviously, everyone detained won't be everyone that's charged. Um, what are the processes that will now take place? People across the world in mourning, my goodness, you plan to go to a concert and then this planned uh, terrorist attack. And then also, as we know, um, we know sometimes these terrorist organizations that claim that they've done it just do it for bragging rights when they could 
could have had nothing to do with it entirely. Break all of that down for us, please. Absolutely. So uh, as to the claim for responsibility, you're absolutely right. Just because ISIS-K claimed that they did it, it's not clear that ISIS-K actually was the the terrorist group responsible for this attack. Often you have many different groups claiming responsibility for bragging rights, and uh, it turns out that they're not involved. This attack was very similar to previous Chechen rebel attacks. And so initially I thought that it might have been a Chechen attack. However, uh, you know, nonetheless, we will find that uh, depending upon what is said by the people who are being detained for this, uh, if they uh, also are be able to be tied into ISIS, uh, that that will be more definitive as to who is responsible for this. But as far as the ongoing investigation, that's exactly what needs to occur, is that you have evidence being collected up at the site, you have evidence being collected up at the uh, location where these uh, individuals were detained from, uh, and then uh, th th there is the process of putting together background information about who these individuals are and trying to show whether or not they are involved in any type of group like this. Uh, we're at the beginning of this investigation, not the end. The detention of these individuals is only the start of the process. But, uh, you know, Russia is a surveillance society. Uh, there are cameras everywhere, and so uh, that will be helpful in this investigation. And also, uh, they, they have, because they are a surveillance society, they should be able to come up with information about who these individuals are quickly. When it comes to all of the partners that'll be participating in this investigation, could you potentially see U.S. intelligence taking part? And I ask that because we know with concerts of this magnitude, there were probably Americans in the crowd. People from all over the world traveled to Moscow to take part in this now deadly event. So at the beginning of the month, the United States intelligence came up with information about a potential attack by a radical Islamic group there in the Moscow area, and that word was passed to the Russians. Um, and uh, it initially was uh, dis uh, dismissed, uh, said that this uh, was not going to happen. The information was passed to American citizens inside the uh, of Russia uh, to, to avoid going to concerts. It was that specific that this uh, event that not a specific location, but that a concert area might be being targeted by a radical group like this. And so the U.S. intelligence has provided information. The United States intelligence will continue to provide information if they have specifics. Um, the problem is, of course, is that with the ongoing Russian-Ukraine uh, conflict, uh, that, that war effort the United States is back in Ukraine, and so we don't have the best of relations with Russia right now. And I'm sure that that was part of the problem with the U.S. intelligence providing this information, is that it was possibly dismissed due to the fact that we have this ongoing conflict with uh, Russia in Ukraine. Mr. King, you know, I always appreciate your expertise on these situations. Is there anything else you'd like to add as we look ahead and are awaiting more information from officials there on the ground? So it'll be interesting to see whether they, they have all these shooters, uh, because as I said, some of the initial reports said there may have been up to five shooters. We are only talking about four being detained at this location. The others, by the way, may be uh, people who are supporting this group, or it may be uh, people who have just been gathered up because they were in the area where these guys were detained at. But nonetheless, there may be uh, a fifth individual out there. Uh, we'll only know that uh, when the Russians let us know. Mr. Kent, we appreciate your expertise and so many unanswered questions, as you mentioned. I mean, my goodness, how uh, do this many gunmen walk into an event like this when there's supposed to be tight security, maybe even a metal detector? So I know we're on the edge of our seats awaiting to get more information. Mr. Kent, thank you so much for uh, letting us know about this situation.